In the beginning of the 2010s, when SpaceX started working on new rocket technology, Jeff Bezos also started his own rocket company called Blue Origin. And then you have another billionaire that looks at these two and says to himself, why don't I have an aerospace company? So he decides to launch a company called Strato Launch. But who is this billionaire anyways? This is Paul Allen, one of the founding members of Microsoft, a very close and old friend of Bill Gates. Jeff Bezos and mainly Elon Musk was looking at rocket technology and they wanted to make it more and more advanced. But Paul Allen took a different approach. He decided to create an airplane that could be used as a launch pad for rockets. Basically an airplane that goes up with a rocket attached to it and tens of thousands of feet in the air it releases it. If you've seen our video about the X-15 or know anything about the X-15 itself, you have to know that Paul Allen pretty much created the modern version of that. The X-15 was carried by the B-52 and launched, but Paul Allen designed his own airplane that is completely new from the ground up. It is also the biggest airplane in the world, called the Rock. It is no joke to build an airplane like this, because the hangar and the place it was supposed to be built had to be built first and then they could start working on it. But you might ask, why does this airplane have two fuselage? It has two bodies so the rocket could go in the center. And the rocket this plane can launch is much bigger than the X-15. The X-15 could easily go under the B-52 and be launched in the air. But the rockets the rock wants to carry is going to be much bigger and it needs more clearance. So in a way, if you were to create an airplane like the B-52 where the rocket attaches to one of the wings, it's going to make it very imbalanced. So that's why the rock is created with two fuselages. When Paul Allen finally designed his aircraft, he named it the rock, which is the Persian word for roh, or it's a Middle Eastern mythical bird. This bird is so powerful that it could lift elephants. And that's one of the main reasons this name was chosen for this airplane because it could carry a whole lot of weight and take it to the skies. The length of this airplane is 74 meters which is a little bit longer than the A380. But the width of it is what makes it the biggest airplane in the world because it has a width of 117 meters. So if you were to put this airplane inside a football field, the wings would be inside the spectators. That's how wide it is. The rock weighs 227 tons without carrying anything. And you might think that's an insane number already. How is it going to carry any more weight? But the best part is that the rock could carry more weight than itself. It could carry up to 250 tons and lift into the sky. So when it's lifting off in full capacity, it's going to weigh 477 tons at least. Even with all this weight, the Rock is not the heaviest airplane in the world. The heaviest airplane in the world is the Antonov AN-225 which we've made a video on. But the thing that makes a difference is that the Antonov cannot carry more weight than the airplane itself, but the Rock can. On this airplane, you can find six Pratt & Windy PW456 jet engines, which is the same engines on the 747. With the help of these engines, the rock could go as fast as 850 kilometers an hour. And it also has a range of 2000 kilometers. And being this size and weight, it releases the rocket at 35,000 feet. The main cabin of the Stratolaunch rock is on the right fuselage, but the left side of the airplane looks similar and it also has front windows so you think it has two cockpits, but the left one is just a dummy window and it's used to carry cargo. The balance of this aircraft is extremely important, so you can't carry a whole lot of cargo on the left side of the airplane. The maximum capacity is 1100 kilograms, 
but this airplane isn't meant or isn't designed to carry cargo, so it doesn't really matter, it's meant to carry missiles and rockets. You can find 56 tires on this airplane when it lands, so it's 28 tires on each fuselage. And another thing about taking off and landing is that this airplane will not fit in most airports. The A380 doesn't even fit in most airports, let alone this. But this airplane isn't meant to go to normal airports, it mainly lands and takes off in military design runways. Unfortunately, in the year 2018, Paul Allen passed away because of a form of blood cancer that he had for many decades. And this was at a stage where the rock was almost ready to be tested. One year after Paul Allen's death on April 2019, the Strato Launch rock was finally ready and it took to the sky for the very first time. A flight test that Paul Allen wished to see. Even though the leader of the project pretty much passed away, but he organized it in a way where even if he passed away, the project would go on and everything was set in order to be completed. And his team exactly did that because they finally took this airplane to the skies. Saying this is easier said than done because this airplane is all new and has never been built before. And it is a huge deal that it actually took to the sky and it was successful. Even though it was tested, the Strato Launch Rock was not ready. All the bits and pieces had to be tested to make sure it's working correctly because just like we said, it's an all new design that has never been made before. But everything tinges when we get to the year 2020 because a new pandemic hits the world that pretty much paralyzes the entire economy. COVID-19 When Corona came around, the budget of the company of Stratolaunch completely disappeared. And when this happened, the company starts going towards bankruptcy. They first start laying off employees one by one. And they even put this airplane for sale. They asked $400 million for the rock. Another billionaire that's in this type of business is Richard Branson with Virgin Galactic. When he realized that the rock is being auctioned off for $400 million, he kind of laughed and said, even if this airplane was for sale for $1, I wouldn't even pay it. It was just billionaire banter because that's pretty ridiculous to not buy it at $1. No one was serious about buying this aircraft, but a few months later, a management company called Cerberus starts to make a deal with Strato Launch. They pretty much say, you guys have a team together, you have designed this amazing machine. Instead of selling it, why don't I invest into your company and you can bring the team back together. At this time, Strato Launch only has 12 employees and they're even losing those every month. But after Cerberus came and invested into the company, one by one, these employees that did the job and got the job done were brought back. A company that was millimeters away from bankruptcy was brought back to life because of Cerberus. And it even came back stronger. They actually designed a new rocket from the ground up. A rocket called the Strato Launch Talon A. This is not a huge rocket in any sense, but is an amazing test bed at an advanced rocket system. It's only 8.5 millimeters in length and it weighs 2700 kilograms. But for advanced rocket technology, it's very good for testing because it has a speed of Mach 5 or five times the speed of sound or 6,174 kilometers an hour. Right now, the rock is in this stage. It's in good hands. They're trying different types of rocket technology to launch it off of them. Cerberus and Stratolaunch have a plan of not only launching rocket with the rock, but to send passenger and tourists into space. And since they could use a launch pad like this instead of rocket technology from the ground, it could be a whole lot cheaper. Just imagine instead of a rocket being launched into space, it's a tiny aircraft that has rocket propulsion and it could send the passengers into space to experience it at a much lower cost. Right now, if you want to go to space, it's going to cost more than $100,000. But a design like the rock could bring that cost down by a bunch. And maybe even a regular person could go to space and experience it. This was the story of the most interesting and the biggest airplane in the world. 
And if it's successful, it's going to be truly revolutionary in aerospace technology.